you want to go to the bus? Go in the car to the bus. Yeah, boy. Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am so glad that you are here. If this is your first time here, my name is Hayley and I am half of the Rondo Adventures with my husband Bevan. And today's video is really starting to look like a home in our little bus. We think that we are about three to four weeks away from our move-in date. We will be moving in slightly before everything's finished, but it will be livable in three to four weeks. So we are getting so bloomin' excited, cannot wait. As the bus is coming to life and as more things are going in, I'm sleeping less and less because I wake up in the middle of the night and then I start thinking about how amazing the bus is and how much I can't wait to be there. And it's, you know, that's how excited I am. Can't bloom and sleep. So in today's episode, you will see a whole heap more of our cabinets going in and just things starting to take shape. If you have not liked and subscribed yet, it would mean the world to us if you could so that we can get our adventures out there into YouTube land. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Bevan's just removing the flue because we've sold the fireplace and they're coming to pick it up today. So this is the one job for this weekend. Bevan's been away on a fishing comp for the last three days. So we haven't done any bus work this weekend. So we've just popped over now that he's gotten home to do this and that's it for the weekend. Bye bye cute little fireplace. You shall be going to a better home that will use you. This is our first weekday working on the bus. Bevan's finished work today. It is Monday and it's come to do... What are you doing today, Bevan? Looking at the uh, cabinets for the back. Also like the back behind our bedroom. Yeah. That's exciting. So you got to sift through them all and see which ones are best. Well, we're not which ones are best when you store them. Otherwise we don't have enough to fill the space. But you cut them down because our back piece is not this wide. So you cut all of them like that. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Just making decisions on which way up to put these. We're going to go the other way so then it folds downwards because if we leave it this way, when you lift it up, you're going to be sort of ducking too far underneath and then deciding like how far out to bring the cabinets that will go the whole way up and back. So we're going to have one of these each and then full walled cabinetry with wires coming through with little like charging nooks down the sides and things. Um, yeah. It is now Tuesday after work. <laughs> As you can see, Bevan's just so happy to be here. <laughs> Little bit of progress. Have added in wardrobe. As you can see, there is a big gap behind, but Bevan has the brilliant idea of that being like hanging space for wetsuits, big jackets and things. And this is getting fixed over here and Bevan started experimenting with the colours to cover up the back. But it's going to get small. It's going to be black. Yeah, well, I mean paints. What kind of paint? And that is not the right one, so we'll get a different one. Yeah. Back 
to burning to go. Uh, it's an old Wait, place. Getting another one of the bench tops for the other side of the kitchen. Last time I forgot to actually look at it and check for a real good one. So this time I'm actually going to look through them and pick the best looking one. <laughs> look, you got your big disco stick. Plan today, Bevan. <laughs> Bevan. What's the plan, Bevan? I don't know what the plan is. That's why I'm asking you, Bevan. You're the builder. Hundo. <laughs> well, what I think we are doing today is painting the back window. Hold the camera. <laughs> painting the back window black. And then fixing in the fan in the shower, the exhaust fan, and <laughs> having a nap. I'm going to be going home to have a nap. Now. I'm going to be going home to do some cooking. Getting less. The pack is getting less. What are you using? Oh, the reflective stuff's up. So that helps to insulate behind the window. Oh, here. Hmm. Fabulous. Working hard, Dars? Oh yeah. Working hard boys. Every now and again you come across your fave the beat coming. Fave little song comes in. Just showing Dardis. Looks he's enjoying it. <laughs> it's the music that keeps you going. <laughs> I never know when you're recording. <laughs> I always can tell by your uh, my responses. Yeah. <laughs> I'm more concentrated because I can't multitask. Nope. I think it looks awesome. <laughs> Show us. Show you what? We want to see what the roof looks like. Oh, Roots sorry, the, the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, we'll we want to see what the ceiling looks like. Lift it up, Bevan. It's bloody good. It's bloody good. We were originally doing RV caravan panels were going to be shiny, but then we decided that it would look too much like an RV because they're RV panels <laughs> and it would have like the shininess I feel like it gives a bit of a hospital feel 
mm, just not down for that so we're going for the more homely feel with the texture and the line so it obviously looks like wood paneling up on the roof the sacrifice though is six millimeters of height um, because what we were using originally was three mil and these are nine mil so that was the one sacrifice hey Bev and six mil means a lot six mil <laughs> is the difference between this and this <laughs> but for me I'm totally bad. What are you doing? <laughs> Is that your big stand up poo, Steve? You even checked it out. Pretty impressive. That's a pretty impressive poo, Steven.